Yo, what up guys? Welcome to Jack's Off to another adventure. So I'm currently here in Santa Cruz and even though I've been here many times, I've never really dove into the Chinese history here in Santa Cruz because as a photography enthusiast, I like taking pictures of stuff, you know, like old remnants of Chinatowns and stuff. And based on memory, I don't think they have anything here about Chinatown here. Until recently, one of y'all Chinatown enthusiasts tipped me off saying that there's a Chinese gate here somewhere. So since we're in the area, we might as well go look for some Chinese remnants here in Santa Cruz. So join me as Jack's off to Santa Cruzy. Let's go. While there are some evidence that the Chinese people came to the central coast during the Spanish era, the first major influx came during the gold rush. After the Chinese helped complete the Transcontinental Railroad, they were hired to build railroads all over California, including the Santa Cruz area, because they were highly experienced and labor was cheap. They established several Chinatowns in the region, but because of heavy anti-Chinese sentiments and natural disasters, the Chinatowns would not survive. Excuse me, you guys know where the Chinatown gate is at? Uh, so right now we're crossing a bridge and right here, this is the San Lorenzo River and supposedly Chinatown was everywhere over here along the riverfront and in the 1950s when this river overflowed or flooded it destroyed Chinatown and it was never rebuilt and check it out guys at the end of this bridge is the infamous Santa Cruz Chinatown Gate Let's take a closer look at this. Wow. Anyways, so check out the front. This is the Santa Cruz Chinatown gate, I guess. You got the mosaic dragon in different colors. Gay Lim Santa Cruz Tong Yan Gai. You got Chinese words and you got a plaque. Check it out, the Chinatown Bridge. The Chinese Dragon Gate commemorates the naming of the Chinatown Bridge over the San Lorenzo River and the often forgotten history of Chinese immigrants here in Santa Cruz County. Can we all that? And you got a Chinese grandpa here and a Chinese little kid. That was me like 30 something years ago. Here's another plaque right here. The last Santa Cruz Chinatown. So based on what I read, Chinatown there were like four of them, but it moved and this area was like the last one and Despite confronting a racist, anti-Chinese movement locally, statewide, and nationally, the Chinese preserved on the social and economic margins of Santa Cruz County. So like I mentioned earlier, this area used to be all of Chinatown. And nowadays, this is what it looks like now. This is Trader Joe's, the plaza right there. You have some Chinatown enthusiasts. You have a gentleman here very curious about Chinese history, I guess? Oh yeah! Well, since we're in historic Chinatown, we gotta do a traditional Chinatown jaywalk. Success. Our Chinatown enthusiast being very enthusiastic of the Chinatown gate over here. All right, aside from that Chinatown gate, I believe there are a few plaques here in Santa Cruz. You know, since we're here, we might as well go find it. Check out this area. Like I said, old Chinatown. Nowadays, we have a movie theater. We got some shops, some art classes. It's a very chill area here. Also very nice weather. I think it's like 69 degrees over here today. So according to my phone right here, there's supposed to be a Chinatown plaque somewhere around this area. So there's three of us. We're gonna make this into a scavenger hunt. Whoever finds it first, buys dinner. All right, All right. Style. All right let's go. All right. Oh, they're going together. <laughs> Damn, where is this plaque? Oh, what is this thing? Oh crap. Is this a museum, a Chinese museum or something? Is the plaque here? No, I don't see no plaques here. And it's closed. Damn, where is it? Well, with the selfie stick, I can extend it to this long. The lights are on, at least. I wonder what's in there. What? Found it. Oh, shit. What the hell? Look at that. It has to be. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, wow. To the Chinese men and women who came to Gumsan, site of the fourth and last Chinatown in Santa Cruz. So the last time it was Chinatown, it was 1955. 
Fast forward to 2022, it is a Kumon. Probably full of Chinese people. Well, I guess you gotta buy dinner now. Darn it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Is this another remnant of Chinatown? Or it could be a Japanese tori gate, I don't know. Oh, cool. And since we're checking out old Chinatown, or at least where it used to be, take a look at what Santa Cruz looks like now in this area. So like I mentioned earlier, there's really not much left here in Santa Cruz in regards to like Chinatown remnants. But there is also one more spot of interest and it's about five miles away from here. So we're gonna go drive there right now to go check it out. Woo! Hello. Hello. To the beach or the campground? To the beach. To the beach. Ten bucks. You guys take cart now too? Sure. Oh wow, updated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next point of interest is actually a beach. Check it out. Wow. It's very calming here. You got a bunch of surfers over yonder. This is really relaxing. Look at this Chinatown enthusiast looking cool in front of the ocean, looking at the direction of China, and right next to him, founded a plaque for China Beach. So during the 1870s and the 80s, a small village constructed of scrap lumber and driftwood was erected at the base of these cliffs known as China Beach. So back then, a lot of Chinese fishermen were here establishing little villages, collecting fish, and nowadays, it's all beach enthusiasts, you have surfing enthusiasts, it's people enjoying the ocean. When I was doing research on Chinese history here in California, there's actually a lot of stuff going on in Santa Cruz. But like I mentioned earlier, there's not a lot of remnants left, so my interest is kind of low, but still, it's nice to come out here. You know, check out the beach, check out what's going on in Santa Cruz. And I think we've seen all we have to see here in the region. So let's end this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So next time, Jack's off.